how you guys doing? I'm going to do a tutorial. It's going to be a really quick tutorial on um, how to make lettering um, bottle cap images um, using GIMP and Microsoft Word starter I'm using. Um, I'm just learning how to do this so I'm not sure if this is the correct way but it works for me. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So what I'm going to first do as I have windows already open I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a text box uh, I'm going to go to draw text box and I'm just going to draw a nice size text box um, it's probably about it looks like it's about two inches um, then I am going to um, edit shape send a drawing tools format if it didn't already switch over um, we're going to go to edit shape change shape and I'm going to change it to this oval which will kind of help me in making the bottle cap make sure that all the lettering is inside the circle and won't get cut off once I size it down um, so we're gonna, I'm just going to type in something, let's do big sister. Okay. Um, then I am going to highlight it. I want to make it um, right click. I want to center it. And I'm going to make the font bigger. Um, I'll make it make it as big as it'll fit inside your circle. So this is about a 30 36. So, yeah, 36 looks good. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Um, you can edit it or change the um, font to whatever font you want this is the time that you would do your bottle cap however however you want to customize it um, for example if I click on format I can change I'm going to highlight the lettering and change the style um, let's do red as you see it's kind of cut off so what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to either bring it down um, a size or you can make your circle bigger whatever you prefer um, you can also make color in the background um, it says shape fill and you have all these colors you can choose from um, let's do purple my favorite color um, and we'll just leave it like that. We'll leave it simple. Now, if you want to make different ones, you can go ahead and repeat this process. Um, so, um, to make different lettering inside of your bottle cap images. So, um, after that, what I do is I go to my snipping tool, which I have under my start menu. That comes up, and I just highlight um, the objects that the objects that I made um, so if you have a full page you want to highlight the whole entire page but I only have one so I'm just going to highlight that and it kind of like takes the picture and makes it a um, JPEG image so what you're going to do is you're going to save it and you're going to um, type in okay. and what you want to save it as okay and press save and that's saved and from there it's the same process as my last video on using GIMP um, you're going to open up GIMP which is already opened up for me and you're just going to go through it really really fast um, file open everything is already um, to scale in the background on my layout page um, big sis open up the file it pops up in the background 
go your eclipse tool and you're going to circle it as big as you want to the bigger the better you always want to make sure that your image uh, when you press scale is bigger than 120 by 120 before you scale it or your lettering will come out blurry so that's my scale push my scaling tool size it down see right now it's at 175 which is fine but we're going to make it 120 and we're going to make the height 120 which that one it was, it was at 160 but it needs to be at 120 by 120 uh, scale uh oh I didn't press enter there 120 enter scale then you're going to do edit cut and push the movie tool close that back out and then file paste and you have your bottle cap image with words in it File paste to continue on the process and you just complete the process on whatever lettering you want to or if you want to do the whole page just continue pasting um hope this video made sense to you guys thanks for viewing um let me know any questions you have.